Will the monthly payment of $500 have a negative impact on my DTI? Any tips on how to choose a good realtor? Can you do a timeline of the home buying process? The down payment assistance program I use with my buyers is guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a day in the life of a loan officer vlog and answering some of your highly requested mortgage questions. So you guys know if you watch me, I like to get up early, start my day with some planning, emails, things like that. This particular day was extra special because I did a interview with the local news station about home buying during a pandemic, which is something that I have also talked about on this channel. So if you want the details of what I spoke about feel free to check out the other videos on my channel and you'll get some more insight on that but today I spent a little extra time getting ready this morning because I knew I was gonna be on camera so I do work from home full-time and I don't normally beat my face to death like this but since I did have this interview I wanted to look nice so I threw in a little bit of makeup and did my hair all right, I just got to my office. I'm about 15 minutes early, which is exactly what I wanted. I was just making sure my makeup looks okay. I don't know if I'll be able to film or get any footage while they're filming. I don't know what the rules are about that with like the news station, but if I can, then I'll try to get some. They just asked a lot of questions about like the mortgage market and being a first time home buyer, buying a house during a pandemic, things like that. So I think it went really well. I can't wait to see it. And yeah, now I'm headed back home to get some work done and eat lunch. So let's go. So I'm back home as you guys can see. I had a package waiting for me and I think I know where it's from. Um, Z-Bag sent me some stuff. So I'm gonna unbox what they sent. So let's go. Thank you so much to Z-Bags for sending me um, this cute stuff. I cannot wait to wear it. Those Chanel slides are gonna go with everything this summer. I love this little backpack and this belt. I love how dainty it is and I love the color. So if you want to check them out, I have the link below. They have great items, great quality, great prices. I can't say enough good stuff about them, but if you like any of this or you want to check out some other stuff, then link below. I love all my goodies. I got on my little Gucci belt that I'm going to wrap for the rest of the day. Um, now I'm about to actually try to get like some real work done. I have been out of my office all morning because of the interview, um, and so I want to get a little bit of work done before lunch. So this is the part of my day where I'm working on my loans, doing pre-approvals, working on uh, building more leads, my marketing stuff, doing pre-qualifications. It's a lot that I do and I take short breaks. Every few hours I take a short break to do some reading and learn about investing. I am getting into the stock market now and I'm trying to learn some things I can teach you guys. So I've been using the Blinkist app and I've told you guys about this before. You can read an entire book in as short as 15 minutes because I don't have much time during the day. This is ideal for me. I'm able to read lots of books on money and finance and currently I'm reading about investing. So I'm reading this book, Investing with Impact. Um, I've also been checking out some other books, Millennial Money Makeover and others I've recommended to you guys. It's super easy to use and the first 100 people to click the link below 
below will get unlimited access for one week to try it out and they'll also get 25% off the full membership um, you know if you like it but I love it I continue to use it and I'm learning a lot so this is a part of my day now because I'm always trying to learn something new so thank you so much to Blinkist for sponsoring this video and for allowing me to bring you guys this great content that I do Okay, it is lunchtime. I have changed into something a little more comfortable. I got Chipotle delivered, so I am going to eat lunch. I think I'm gonna eat lunch outside today because uh, it's such a beautiful day. And I don't know, since I work from home so much, it's nice to just get outside and change up my, you know, scenery and environment. So I'm gonna do that. Yeah, that didn't happen. The thought was nice. <laughs> but not today. Okay, so I am finally done working. Now I'm switching over to my YouTube desk to um, respond to some emails and um, get some editing done. I also need to uh, film. Okay, so at this point I'm doing my meal prep and I'm just doing my famous salmon that I do. You guys asked me a lot about this on social media when I post it, so I thought I would show you the ingredients. You may need to slow it down, but I honestly just throw a bunch of seasonings into a bowl and create a glaze that I put over it. So I thought while I'm waiting for my dinner to finish that I would answer a few mortgage questions for you guys. I'm gonna go to my last home buying video and go through the comments and see if I can get some of y'all's questions answered. Said, can you do a timeline of the home buying process? That's actually a really good question. Starting off, you can go online and complete the application or you'll do a pre-qualification with me. That's done in minutes over the phone. The application can be done in five to 10 minutes. That's where you start. Once you complete the application, you'll need to submit your income documents. Now, how long that takes is up to you. Once you submit all your documents, it takes me about 24 to 48 hours to get it pre-approved. Lately, it's taken longer because I have more loans. Right now, it's anywhere from a day to a week, just depending on my workload, depending on the complexity of the approval, things like that. Once you're pre-approved, it's up to you to find a house. When you do that, it's up to you. However long it takes you is up to you. Once you find a house, you get um, your offer accepted from the time you get the purchase agreement or the purchase contract to the time you close is on average 30 days. Average meaning sometimes it's quicker than that. I've closed a loan in as quick as two weeks. Sometimes it takes longer. I've had loans that have taken months um, for one reason or another. That's a whole nother story. But on average, it's about 30 days. For the most part, the process is 30 days. Yes, is now the best time to buy with a conventional loan? Yes, now is a great time to buy with a conventional loan because conventional loans have less stipulations and regulations, especially with lenders really cracking down on guidelines right now on government loans, FHA, VA, USDA. Now is a great time to go uh, conventional. I am a Louisianian, Louisianian, whoop, whoop, Louisiana. I am a Louisianian by way of NOLA and I would love for you to do a video on the process on our state as well as all the down payment assistance programs that are available. Uh, the process for our state is pretty much what I just explained in terms of the loan process. Each state does have certain guidelines, but for the most part in general, that's the process. Um, at least for me in Louisiana and other states that I cover. The down payment assistance program I use with my buyers is for FHA loans and first time home buyers. You can qualify by either being a first time home buyer, making below a certain income limit, or if you work for state organization somehow. So if you're like a teacher or a police officer, a nurse, a firefighter, um, adopt, like any of those things, you can qualify. The qualifying credit score goes down to 580, uh, but there is a DTI limit of 48% or 49%. The way the down payment assistance works is the minimum down payment for FHA loan is 3.5% of the purchase price. It's always 3.5, no matter what. By law, you have to pay at least 3.5% down on an FHA property. 
with the down payment assistance program they give you a two percent grant and you cover 1.5 percent um, of the down payment as opposed to the full 3.5 for example if you are buying a house and it's a hundred thousand dollars I'm just it's easy math <laughs> if you're buying a house it's a hundred thousand uh, dollars your minimum down payment going FHA is thirty five hundred dollars if you are able to get down payment assistance then your down payment is or your portion of the down payment is fifteen hundred and then you get a two thousand dollar grant um, that goes towards your down payment so it slashes the cost of your down payment and it's a grant it's free money a lot of down payment assistance programs are um, like soft seconds or things like that that require um, to be paid back if you sell your house or after a certain time this is an actual grant it's free money so that is the program I do with my clients uh, for down payment assistance down payment assistance does vary by state let me repeat down payment assistance varies by state that's why when a lot of you ask me questions specific to the state that you live in and I don't cover it a lot of times I tell you to uh, I refer you to go to a local lender because there's certain programs and things that uh, are very state specific speaking of which I have an exciting announcement to make I am in the process of getting licensed in Georgia and I think the license should be complete within the next couple weeks next few weeks something like that um, so if you are um, a Georgia resident and you are interested in purchasing I will be doing Georgia loans I'm so excited a bunch of you have already reached out to me um, so I will definitely come back and make a full announcement once I'm fully licensed and roaring and ready to go I switched to my cell phone because my vlog camera was overheating so I'm gonna try to make this quick they said my wife and I are looking to purchase our first home early next year. However, I co-signed for her vehicle in September. Her monthly payment is $500. Will the monthly payment of $500 have a negative impact on my DTI? The reason I chose to answer this question is because I get a lot of questions like this. In a sense, you guys are throwing specific numbers at me and wanting me to give you specific answers and I cannot do that without an application. Your DTI is your income versus your debts that are on your credit. So if I don't have a credit report for you, if I don't have income information for you, I can't give you a specific answer. If people are asking about cr my credit score and I make this amount, I don't have your credit report. I cannot tell you without a full application. That's the point of a pre-approval is that <laughs> you apply so I can let you know if you're pre-approved or not. I can't just let you know if you're pre-approved or not by you saying I have a $500 car payment. Um, is this gonna affect my DTI? So not to say that that was a bad question. That was actually a good question. Um, I can say this, $500 in a DTI is a big chunk, uh, just depending on how much you make. I can't give you a finite answer without knowing about your income, but I would say calculate your DTI. Your DTI is gonna be your monthly income divided by your monthly debts that are on your credit, meaning on your credit report. If it's not on your credit, then don't count it as a debt. So I know that didn't fully answer the question, but um, that's the most I can give you. How were you able to transition to working from home opposed to driving to the office? Is that a perk that comes with time? Yes, and this is something that I have talked about in a few videos as well. Um, my personal situation is that I worked in an office setting for two and a half years. Uh, before I started working from home. For me, that was a perk that came with time because I was new to the industry and I needed to be in the office. I needed to have hands-on instruction. Um, but if you have experience as a loan officer, I know my company is hiring remote loan officers and there's other companies hiring remote loan officers. Especially now with COVID, I would assume that there's a like way more remote loan officer jobs now than even usual so if you want to get into it and you have some experience or maybe you don't and there's a company that can somehow train you uh, working from home as an entry level then 
yeah, now's probably the time to do it. But yes, uh, for me, my situation in my company, that was a perk that came with time. And I'm glad I did it that way because I just learned so much. Um, by the time that I actually started working from home, I you know, was fully independent and capable of doing most things myself and not having to constantly ask someone or get help. So I, that's what I would recommend. I wouldn't recommend being uh, completely new to this industry and starting off working remotely because I think you will be overwhelmed. Okay, I'm going to do one more question since I'm recording on my phone now. It doesn't hold a ton of video. Any tips on how to choose a good realtor? I did respond to that comment, but I'm going to respond here too because I think it's a good question. And it's really important. Number one, I fully advocate having a realtor when you are buying a house. It is so important. Going into home buying without a realtor is like going to court without a lawyer, right? So they're trained in every aspect of home buying in the market and real estate, negotiation, getting concessions, um, inspections, all those kind of things. Like they, you know, go to school for that. Many of them have worked in the industry for years. They know their stuff and it's a free, it's no cost to you. It's completely free. Uh, so number one, you definitely want to get a realtor. I always advise getting a realtor. How to choose a good realtor. Really when you're choosing who to work with in any sense, whether it's a realtor or a lender, you want to think about the intangible benefits, meaning if you are a person who is not good with technology, then you may need a lender or a real estate agent that is physically available to you where you can bring them documents or come sit down in the office with them. Um, if you're someone who hates dealing with people face to face or you're all technology and all digital, then maybe you need someone who works more digitally. When it comes to a realtor, uh, you definitely want to have someone that communicates well. You want to have someone that knows the business, someone that um, is thorough, professional and who has strong negotiation skills. Uh, that's really, really important. I think if you have those and you work well with the realtor, that's it's it's your choice. But a lot of who you choose to work with in the home buying process is going to come down to intangible benefits in relationship with that person. Also, if you want a good realtor and you don't know where to start, I think rather than just going on like Zillow or something and randomly picking one, it's good to talk to family and friends. Or if you have a lender. Uh, lenders can usually weed out the good and the not so good realtors and they have connections with realtors that they work well with. So if you have a lender uh, before choosing your realtor, you may want to um, ask your lender if they have a good recommendation for who you could use as a realtor. But yeah, in this business, it really is like word of mouth and just who you vibe with almost. Like it sounds weird because it sounds like you're dating the person. But it is about like a relationship, a working relationship, and you want to work with people, whoever you have the best working relationship with at the end of the day. Okay, so that's all of the questions that I'm gonna answer for now. I'm going to finish making my dinner, and then I do have some editing I need to do. I'm gonna get cracking on that. But I'll show you guys like how I do my meal prep if you are interested in like what I made. You can see so here's the salmon fresh out the oven so what I do is all the juice that doesn't quite make it onto the salmon I like to just spread it like so that it has like a little like a little glaze I've got my meal prep. Before winding down every night, I try to get some editing done, get some more emails done, any remaining planning for the day, planning for the next day, kind of just winding my night down by being productive before heading to bed. So yeah, this is my little budget book that I made. I got this notebook from Too Faced, obviously, but I thought it was cute and funny and appropriate. I spent my rent on makeup. I just added some tabs to this notebook. 
and kind of just made it my own little budget notebook. I have not been able to find one or any printables, like I've done printables, but I haven't been able to find one that just encompasses every single thing that I need and I want. So this is where I'm doing my budgets for now to make sure I'm on track with my spending. I do have a section for stocks. I am getting into investing in the stock market now. So this is my section to where I can take notes and do research on like stocks I wanna buy, keep track of that savings goal. I'm keeping track of my credit score and paying off my debts. I've got, what does this say? <clears throat> oh, that's the socks. And then budgets, of course, that's my biggest section. This is where I do my budgets. I used to do like one monthly budget, but now I've started doing a paycheck to paycheck budget just because um, it's a lot easier and more detailed than just doing one generic monthly budget because my pay is variable as well as I get paid different times throughout the month. Like it's very variable. So I've got this to help me out. So yeah, so I thought I would show you guys that in case you are curious. I'm super exhausted. You can see I'm oily. My makeup's coming off. My hair is just doing whatever it wants at this point. I'm going to end this vlog here so I can get ready for bed and do it all over again tomorrow. So I hope you guys like this video. If you have any more mortgage questions, please leave them in the comment section uh, below. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe um, and hit the bell button for notifications so you can know when I upload and you can see more of these kind of videos. I love you to the bank and back and I will see you in my next video.